Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And first of all, happy, happy Friday. I'm so excited. Um, I've been waiting for this day since Monday. <laughs> it's been one of those crazy busy weeks, um, but I'm so excited it's over. Looking forward to the weekend, have lots going on. Um, but anyways, I have a really sh quick, super short video for you today. Okay, so anyways, I'm just gonna show you really quickly what I use for my cart today. I use the stitched file folder and index card dies. So basically, somebody was said that they were a little confused. They, they were looking for a whole separate die for the index card. Basically, when I had designed this, I had designed this to separate. Let me open it really quick just so I could better explain it. So basically, there's two parts to it, okay? And then when you cut out the pieces, hold on one second, I'm sorry. Okay, I just went ahead and I cut it out because I know it's better when you have a visual, okay? So basically when you cut them out, you have two pieces like this, okay? If you just use this piece by itself, that would be considered the index card portion, okay? And if you want a um, the actual file folder, there's a little score line at the bottom of this one. And then all you do is just, you could use sticky strip or whatever you want. Um, and then you just kind of like line it up. Oops, let's see. Okay, you want to line it up like so. Just like that. And then I always just kind of just take my bone folder just to kind of just do another little crease there. Just so it could look like a cute little folder. Now these look cute when you do them with double sided paper because you have a little pattern on the inside. Um, but the reason why I did it this way is because if I would have done the whole folder together, the stitching, you would not be able to see. Well, it's kind of hard to show you with the pattern paper, but you wouldn't be able to see the stitching on the front. If I would have done it just all together, the stitching would have been on the inside and it kind of would have looked weird. So that's why I did it this way. So it comes out to a perfect little file folder. Um, or you just use that one piece and use it as a little index. Um, the little index file or, you know, is that what it's called? Yeah, the little index card, I should say. Okay, so anyways, that is, so that's for the couple of people who had questions. They're looking for another die in there. That's basically what it is. Okay, then I use um, You Are Here stamp set, and I just use that little stamped, I stamped that little arrow right there. And then I used my favorite treasured moments, and the sentiment I used was, let's promise to always be friends. The paper I use, this is just some older paper, I believe it was from last year, but it's still my favorite because these are all of my favorite, this reminds me of my craft room. These are all of my favorite colors together, and it's a really, really cute set, and I am positive they still have this available, you know, everywhere. So anyways, this is just from Authentique, and this is the collection called Celebrate, okay? And then I just used some twine here from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. So, here goes my super simple card for you today. All the papers from that pack, and the, I actually, instead of using this as file folders this time, I wanted, excuse me, I wanted to make a card on how to use it as a little index cards. So, what I did was I cut out two index cards, and all I did, because I didn't, um, I only designed this to go one little tab, okay? So I figured to get a separate tab to make it look like like a faux file card that they're in order, all I did was I cut out a second one. I'm not sure if you see if you could tell or not, but I, I cut out a second one and I trimmed it down. And then all I did was I just moved it to the right so it could look like there's a couple of little files there. Um, and then I stamped the little girls. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Actually, I did use one more set. I sure did. I used um, my favorite, favorite in the whole wide world, We Are Family, and I uh, stamped that little girl twice, okay? I figured it would look really cute right beside the little sentiment, let's promise to always be friends, and I embossed that using white, um, heat, white embossing powder. And this strip of paper is also from that pack, and all I did was I had, see what I had originally did, I had cut out the index, index card with this, but... It, 
obviously I did it wrong. So what I did was I just cut out a strip of it at the bottom. So this way you could see the stitching along the bottom as well. So I just like cut it and then trimmed it down and I just went ahead and used that as a border for the bottom of my index card. And then just threw my twine there with a simple little bow. And that's about it, easy peasy. Um, so that's it everybody. So I'm not sure if you heard or not, but probably my YouTube followers have not heard. I am having a little a mini back to school sale this weekend only. If you use the code back to school, all in capital letters, you will receive 20% off your order. Now keep in mind for this time, usually I do pre-orders on back on stuff that's not on stock, but this time the sale is only for in stock items only and there will be no pre-orders. Okay. Um, so it sale actually starts right now um, and it's on right now all the way till Sunday and it will end at Sunday at midnight at Pacific Standard Time. Okay, everybody. So thank you so, so much for tuning in. Um, have a fabulous weekend, everybody. And one more thing I want to say where I'm working on uh, the new release and it is fabulous that's all I have to say I'm so excited it's it's been in the works for a little bit I just wanted to make sure it was perfect I'm so excited I cannot wait to share it with you so that's coming up pretty soon so just go ahead and just um, keep a lookout on my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com for more information okay everybody thank you so much have a good weekend and I will see you back here on Monday morning bye bye <music> Thank you.